Okay, I'm now going to build up one of the quick point sites and all the parts are straight off the printer so you can see exactly what needs to be trimmed for assembly. The first thing I'm going to do is drill out a couple of the parts that have counterboard holes such as the adjustment knob and the upper mount. Counterboard holes need to be drilled out with a 3 mil drill Oops. Oops. going to use a round file to check there's no bits of plastic left in the holes. Next thing I'm going to do is just give the main body of the site a little trim around the area, the face that was contacting the print bed, because you get a little bit of elephant fat. It's nice just to make it smooth. So that's nice and smooth. Okay, first piece to start with is the Z adjustment wheel and an M3 by 20 bolt and a plain nut. I'm screw the nut into the adjustment wheel on the side where there's a rebate for the head. It's important to screw it in um, straight. Okay, so I've got that tight. Now I'm going to put the nut on the top. Before I tighten that, I'm going to put a blob of super glue just to hold the nut from ever coming undone. 
I'm going to tighten it with a uh, box wrench. Except that one doesn't have a hole in it. Actually use nut wrench. So that's the Z adjustment wheel. Next thing I'm going to do is I have the Z adjustment plate, and this requires the hole to be tapped. Um, use a M3 tap, or well, you can just use a bolt, but it's quicker to use the tap. And I'm going to basically put that through the hole. And again, it's important to keep that straight. With that started with the tap, I'm just going to run a bolt through it. This is just an M3 bolt. Now it's a tapped hole. Also going to do the same thing to the Y adjustment plate, which is this little bit here. And I'm going to start it off with a tap. Make sure it's going straight. And this needs to be relatively free so that it's easy to turn the Y adjustment or left right adjustment. So I just keep working the bolt through it until it's nice and free. It needs to be free to the point where you can take the bolt out by finger. Just install the left right adjust into the body of the site. That goes into a hole in the bottom there. Put that in there. And then a M3 by 30 bolt has a shank on it. I'm going to feed that in from this side. Going through the hole we just tapped in the adjustment. So that this can move like that. Screw that in. So it just starts to come out the side. It's just starting to come out there. And I'm going to take the adjustment wheel. In this case is orange. I'll put that over the bolt. Screw that in. Now this needs to be tightened until there's just no slop in and out. So 
So as that turns, the adjustment will slide from one side to the other. Okay, I'll leave that button in the middle. The um, rear sight part, in this case in black, again I'm going to trim the edges of this where it has any elephant foot from the print um, from the printer. I'm just going to trim that. And the slot, which engages on the sliding bit, I'm just going to check that doesn't have any plastic spread out around it. I'm just going to try fitting that onto the adjustment, which goes on that, like that. Just check that fits in. Right, I'm going to take another. 3 by 30 bolt that goes in that hole there. I'm going to check is that that's free to move so the site can slide on it. I'm going to tighten that up. And it just needs to be snug, it doesn't need to be tight. And then we can just check that the Slight so moves to the right. I can move to the left. I'll leave it about in the middle. So that's the body of the site. Now for the mounting. Now one of the parts I add is the adjustment wheel. This wheel is just a dummy adjustment wheel that looks like a real sight. It doesn't serve any actual function. I'm just going to screw that onto the back of here with a M3 by 10 bolt. Let's leave that so it can be turned but it doesn't serve any function. Okay, for the body of the sight, the um, for the mounting of the sight, and get the Z adjust wheel. I'm going to put a little bit of grease just on the top of the nut, on the side of the nut, and on the bottom of the bolt because it actually pivots on these. And I'm going to put that through the central hole like that. And I'll get the lower part of the mount. And that hole there again goes over the head of the bolt, like that. And this is secured by two M3 by 10 bolts. Stop that off. The second one. Take that adjustment plate, and just check that it doesn't have any elephant's foot around the face that was in contact with the printer just by scraping it. Sides. And I'm going to insert that into the slot in the body. Like that. Push it in and just check that it aligns with the hole in the bottom. Then I'm going to take the mounting part and thread it through that hole by turning the wheel. So 
it sort of engages in the front. So I'll wind that down until the gap is roughly even along the length. And then I'm going to retain the front with another 3 by 10 bolt through the hole. And the key here is to tighten this bolt just snug but not actually tight. So what I do is once I get close I just pull it and just check whether it's tight yet. Just, a, just to be snug. And that will allow it to pivot when that's turned to close the gap or open the gap for the elevation adjustment. The final piece is the side plate which fits on there like that and is retained by two more 3 by 30 bolts. These should be smooth through there. I must have some burrs in the hole. So I'll just check that. Should be. Just get a little open out with the file. That's better. Okay, so they go through like that and they're retained with two M3 nuts. that's used to attach it to the Picatinny rail. So that's the completed site.